Craig Shoemaker, Tri-State Football, here at Purcell Marion with head coach Brian Miller. And coach, last season you got some GCL victories for the first time in a long time. And it seems like next year, I mean, the kids I've talked to already seem very excited about the, the program and where it's headed. Yeah, I think, you know, the last, if you look at the last four weeks of our season, I think we finally kind of got everything put together as far as our expectations as coaches um, and, and the players. Um, and it really does. It does. It does speak to how well, how hard these kids have worked the last few years. And obviously, the wins have not been uh, been few and far between. But we've, we we think we got a group of kids right now that that uh, have completely bought in. Uh, it does help when you got some talent too. Um, and, and so we think the last four weeks is really going to be reflective of where this program is headed in, in future. You know, your program. You are sort of a, a lost child. You don't have a, a real field to play on on Friday nights. Last year, you went to the Shakley Center. Uh, talk about your involvement with them in this upcoming season, and, and is that going to be a home for Purcell? Yeah, it's it's going to be our our home. Um, you know, we'll have last year we had four home games. And unfortunately, we couldn't play our last one there because the bubble was already up. So we played our last home game at Marymount. This year we'll have six home games there, and we're excited. All right, kids, I mean, to be honest with you, I know everybody keeps saying you don't really have a home field. Yeah, we don't have one on campus, but we look at that right now. That is our that's our home. And we don't look at it as we, we're playing at UC. We're playing at our home field. Uh, and so it's been it's been really good for for the program, good for the kids because now it's stability and they love it. And honestly, it's a, it's a great venue. I mean, it's a really if 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 you haven't seen a game there, it's a fantastic venue the way it's all set up. Uh, and it and it's just it's good for the kids because they finally and I think I said, I said this in the past it's finally they feel like this is our stuff now. And, and who knows maybe that was part of the, you know, the positive stuff too. Like you know we're finally kind of getting a little bit more footing here um, as far as you know our, our identity in the, in the city as well. You talked about. Uh getting some cohesiveness. You're going to take your team on an intercession yeah. here in a couple weeks. Tell us about that and what it entails. Well, what we have here at the school, it's, a, it's an intercession goes between third and fourth quarter. And so we don't have a formal spring break. And so what we do instead is we offer kids, um, you can say, alternative kind of um, lessons for school. And so what we've done here is we do a history of Southwest Ohio football. And it's not, all, it's not all just football players. It's open to anybody in the school 9 through 12. And so what we try to do is, is get these kids an opportunity to, to see something different that they're not usually going to see. Tour facilities. You know, we'll, we'll, when we go to the facilities, we'll, we'll have some kids that are interested in some of the architecture. I look at the building structure. Uh, you know, we'll go see practice because you know you're going to have kids who are interested in long-term coaching. So we're going to be down at UC on Monday, you know, watching them practice. Eventually, we'll, we'll make our way down to, to Athens for OU on Friday. We'll see them practice. So our kids, uh, and like I said, we've got kids who, who, who don't play football, so, but they get to see what it's like. Just uh, just different kind of atmospheres. You know, these kids, a lot of kids, they, they watch sports, they see coaches on TV. Now they get a chance firsthand to see what it's like to be on the field. Whether or not they're going to play football and whether or not they do play football, you know, that's irrelevant. We just want to give these kids a different kind of experience from one that they're used to. And I think that's the great thing about intercession. And we've got kids that are going to Ireland, kids that are going to Puerto Rico. So, um, yeah, so so we'll be, we'll be traveling around <laughs> this state. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like your offense is going to be pretty good. Uh, talk about them. I know you got Knox coming back and Winters coming back, a couple of studs. Yeah, um, you know, the, the big key though is we've got Lyman coming back. You know, we can talk about the skill guys all we want, but you can give them the ball a thousand times and if you don't have anybody up front, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, we're excited about Jair, Jalen, Mikel, uh, Jones, our quarterbacks coming back in a really good year uh, for us. It was kind of an interesting situation. We started the year uh, at linebacker and then our uh, the senior quarterback, we find out on Wednesday before we play Norbert, he gets mono, and so we kind of thrust Mikel in there, and he kind of took over. He got injured in the middle of the year, but it's it's our five guys up front that really, really we're really going to rely on. We, lose, we lost one senior from last year, uh, three sophomores were on starting on the line last year, and then one junior. So coming back, we'll have you know, three um, we'll have three juniors and one senior, and we've got one kind of open spot. So that's uh, you know, that's kind of where we are as, as, as a program. So we're excited. And it's not necessarily about the skill. We've had some pretty solid skill guys in the last few years, but now we finally think we have the size up front to, to, to match, to match up. Now switching to the other side of the ball, are a lot of those linemen going to play two ways and, and go defense as well? Well, I mean, we'll have, we'll, yes, we'll have guys. And to be honest with you, we, we're, we're looking to have more guys going one and a half. So we have enough guys where we can now start to get healthy rotations. Uh, you know, of course, we want to keep our, we're small. And so if we got a kid who's good on both sides, he's the best, he's the best one offensive line, we're going to keep him out there, give him a few breaks. But, but we think we're going to have enough to go to go one and a half and rotate around. So we should have, you know, honestly, we're going to have about 12, you know, 12 kids in the varsity level that we're looking at for, the, for, those, uh, for those spots. One last question before I let you go. Your schedule, you know, obviously you play seven GCL games. How, and you got Norwood, who's all of a sudden on the rise. Right. Uh, how do you go about preparing who you want to play? 
Well, I mean, it's kind of a mutual kind of, you know, the athletic department coaches. Uh, I'm just happy we don't have to play St. Vincent's anymore. Yeah. So, and, you know, it's, it's, you know, one of those things that's very hard because when you have seven GCO games, you're locked in. And so to find a school that has an available date, you know, and, and finding schools kind of our size in this area. If you look around, there's not a lot of schools our size in this area. Division five in the city since I don't know how many there really truly are in the fun open date. So it's kind of difficult. You know, this year we've got a big challenge. We, we, we open up with Deer Park, so that'll be a challenge for us. Um, we open up at home uh, as well. We don't have to travel. We, last year we had to travel St. Vincent, St. Zach. Um, so it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be a great game for us. You know, we're excited about the schedule. Uh, you know, but, you know, we tell our kids we, we, we can't, you know, our concern right now is just to win, win, win the day, win, win the hour in the weight room and all that kind of stuff. And we'll worry about the season when it comes around because it's it's too late. Um, if you if you get prepared for the season on August fifth, you got to get ready for it now. There you go. That's Brian Miller, the head coach of the Purcell Marion Cavaliers, and he's got the winning train starting to roll here.